There's a radical new concept going on. It is charging at a location. Now, that's not the exciting part. It is the having the battery packs. Battery packs famously cost 11 kajillion dollars. Real numbers, I double checked, but there's a company out of the UK that's doing it much better and much cheaper. Uh, Felton has a product called the Q-Tube, about which I know very little. So I'm bringing on Will from Tesla Jigsaw, who not only has seen it and read about it, but he went out and talked to the proprietors who invented the darn thing. And we're gonna find out what this is because it stands to change everything. Well, several things and for the better and at a price that I dare not even say this early in the video. Start guessing how much it costs because we'll get to it closer to the end. I'm Brian, welcome to Futuraza. <laughs> So where you got this video coming out? When is it scheduled for release? Uh, now it's live. So it is of, now live. Of, okay, good. Recorded. I was fortunate enough to get a preview of it. If you are jealous, you should be. Uh, maybe go over and uh, support Will on Patreon. Maybe he'll make it available early. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But don't go yet. You want to watch this video, don't you? So uh, yeah, it's, it's so it's, leave it's now. Game. <laughs> Definitely leave now. No. And yeah. there will be a link to that video in the description, and I'll probably show some B-roll of it while we're going. Uh, hmm. But you want to get the whole experience, so go there. Charge Cube, uh, what is it? Well, um, yes, it's not just called Charge Cube, actually. It's, it's got a little three at the end to, to suggest it's Charge Cubed as well. Cube, so Cubed. Call it, mm -hmm. call it what you call. Basically, it's a great big, um, you know, um, what's it called? Box. A shipping container. Yeah. Big shipping container cut in half and then inside you've just got stacks of used recycled ev batteries so uh you know this one that i looked around had uh two tesla uh you know just platforms of batteries stacked on top of each other you can have up to six of those and uh the, the whole idea of this is to give mobile flexible versatile um sort of charging solutions to um things like um Companies that have fleets of vans, for example, that, that can't actually install chargers into their you know, rented property, but you can just go lease or rent or buy one of these cubes and uh, pop it in your, in your car park. And then you can charge up to 12 electric vehicles at a time just from the small cube. But they also do a bigger version that's twice the size of this and it'll charge even more. So basically, you just trickle charging it during the daytime. And then when you need to, sorry, during the nighttime or whenever, and then it just discharges to your electric vehicle. So it, it's the first sort of um, application of its type. And uh, yeah, that was, was quite a breaking news story for you at last, Brian. Uh, it's had a very, to go, yeah. Go visit the place. It's really cool. Yeah, it's great. So the idea is at your shop, at your farm, at your location, at your depot, you've only got a set amount of power coming from the street. You could upgrade it. Uh, sometimes you can upgrade it for not too much money, but sometimes you're already at a level where, this, where the transformer all the way back to the substation cannot handle it. What do you do? Do you just not charge? Do you just not have enough power? Or do you just leave the tap running all day to fill the barrel and pull out the water when you need it? And that's what old steam locomotives did. You see those in old movies, they would have the big uh, barrel up above the train. That's trickle filling all day with water. And when the train comes in, it dumps it in. It's the same principle. And Good this analogy. isn't... Yeah. And this isn't crazy. This is uh, what a mega pack can already do. Mega pack costs a million, two million, depending on what you want it to do and how many you buy. We'll get to the price on this in a minute, because again, I want you to have a number in your head. A, a big complaint I've heard is that car batteries are not recyclable. And we know that's not true. We know companies that are already doing it. But the reason it's taken so long is because batteries have a second life before they get to the point that they need to be recycled. This company is not new to reusing batteries. What else have they done with old batteries? Uh, well, not with old batteries particularly, but they do make EV conversion kits for classic cars, but they do, they do ship new batteries in, but they make the rest of the components for the cars themselves. Um, but it, a point that you made a second ago about the charge cube was really interesting for the for the cost of it because um, for for the particular uh, company I went to see at Felton where they where they build these electric car conversion kits and this new charge cube, um, it's a farm 
and they had to upgrade their electric supply, which cost £80,000 just to get a new substation <laughs> built, just to have enough power to power all the, the machinery inside, you see. So this is another great uh, example of what of how valuable this charge cube would be if you were to just lease this. And you know you don't need planning permission for it either. So, and it can be deployed just within a couple of hours, but it's not just for uh, companies with fleets of electric cars or fleets of vans. Consider, um, let's say you, you've got a festival in the middle of a field and you need to get some power there. Uh, you need to charge cars perhaps for that, or even work sites where we've now got quite a lot of electric vehicles that, uh, you know, JCBs and diggers and stuff. You could just hire one of these for a week, or if you're building a house somewhere, it's got no electric supply, but you need to run a lot of machinery. Um, I mean, there's so many applications for this when you, when you think about it. And uh, yeah, I think that's why it's going to be a pretty good product. And it's really great, especially at job sites. There will be periods where you need more power than the grid can provide. Uh, but it's not all day. It's just for an hour or two or even a few minutes. This can make up for that. With this, you could you could do that. And like you said, you could have two old car batteries in there you could have six hmm. or 12 old car batteries in there how much power do you need that's how much you can get well i'll let you know on that so a, a 10 foot charge cube can house up to six 75 kilowatt hour battery packs offering a total capacity of 450 kilowatt hours uh, they also do the larger 20 foot containers that can store 900 kilowatt hours but um again it's using second life ev battery packs and they say that you know they've got at least 85 percent of their you know usable capacity that'll probably last for another 25 years because of course you've got extra packs on top of each other you're not continually discharging them all and recharging them it's it's doing it far slower so the the expected lifespan will be at least 25 years and then recycle those so yeah that's that's a good point if it's in the car the car needs to be able to go you know do your zero to 60 do your full regen uh you will never pull power that quickly out of these batteries. And let's talk about safety real quick. It's housed in a heavy steel box. That's as, that's as safe as you're going to get. Well, they also have a um, liquid coolant system on the inside as well. So that's uh, pumping around every 10 minutes to all the battery packs. But they also, um, Felton, the company, um, run the software to to keep an eye on what's going on as well so they can tell if, if there's any issues at all they can control it remotely um so yeah they, they, they seem to have thought of everything to to make this a, a pretty pretty safe feature so if they notice a pack is getting out of uh, outside of uh, the safe operating parameters they can just shut it down yeah yeah but they don't actually tinker with the batteries individually still it's just they're using entire um you know modules Mm -hmm. um so yeah then we've got the, the electric gubbins inside that uh, that controls it all well so now we have to talk about cost because i'm i'm scared we know this is you know a mega pack is million two million you can get other solutions that are smaller a power wall is what thirteen thousand for just 10 kilowatt hours 13 kilowatt it's very expensive how much is the cube if you want to buy it well yeah um well they're, they're deliberately offering leasing and renting. They want to cover all bases there. But if you sure. want to just buy one outright, which would be something in the realms of, you know, 450 kilowatt system, uh, 60,000 pounds. So for like less than $75,000, mm -hmm. you get all that. 60,000 pounds. Uh, so I will reach out to them uh, to get them on to, to share the wisdom with me directly. Nothing wrong with your wisdom, but I have to tell them, you got to charge more. <laughs> yeah. That's a great deal. 60,000 yeah, pounds good. for mm. that's a big system. That's going to save a lot of headache. That's going to save a lot of nonsense. And for a lot of cases, it's like, well, we, we are going to upgrade the power from the street, but it's going to take a year. Mm. You rent one for a year give it back yeah exactly it's a great um and especially for for fleet buyers of electric vans for example they don't know whether they're going to work for them it's a temporary solution they might be moving uh you know uh business premises and stuff it's it's um yeah there's there's a lot of benefits to this and i think it's worth mentioning that um yeah that the 
the power sources for it at the moment yeah, will come from the grid in a sort of trickle charge situation, but they also do have um, generators and they will be doing solar panels and even a wind turbine. That's their plan to be able to put on top of the thing <laughs> as well to charge it up. So they've got you know great plans for the future as well, thinking of uh, you know sustainability uh, and all that. So And uh, also multiple cubes can be put together as well. So if you want one more in the future, you can get it. It's fantastic. So, uh, you guys, this is just a, a taste of the wisdom you get from Tesla Jigsaw, our man on the ground in the UK, giving us access to a story we wouldn't have known about otherwise. Show him some love. Uh, I humbly request. Uh, you guys, what did we miss? What do we misunderstand? Uh, if there's more info you need, go over to Will's channel, link to that video in the description. And everybody else, you know, like, subscribe, do what you do. Uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, say hello. I've put up a video on my channel showing all of my travel dates for the year. Maybe I will cross paths with you soon. And uh, stay tuned. Stay juicy. I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots on the next one.